Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a new flight controller from Skystars. We have Skystars F7 HD Pro 3 Wi-Fi flight controller. Now before I begin this video, I would like to tell you guys that this flight controller has been designed by myself in collaboration with Skystars. And when I use the word design, I mean everything except the core electronics. Now core electronics is something which is handled by their own engineering team. And that being said, without wasting any more time, let's jump to the video. Now let's see what we get inside the packaging. We have a flight controller, we have two 4-in-1 ESC cable, and then we have this DJI A unit cable. And along with that, we also have this Cadex Vista cable. And now let's have a look at the flight controller. Now in the front, we have a camera section. Now this is capable of supplying 5V as well as 10V. And along with that, it is also having a UART connection. So in case if you are running any smart camera, you can configure it using the UART provided. And in case if you are running any analog OSD camera, then you can configure the OSD settings using the OSD pad supplied over here. Now if you're gonna come back, we're gonna see it is having a special kind of pad. Now this pad can be used to solder your RX directly onto the flight controller without use of any wires. Now at the back part, we have this VTX section. Now VTX section is having two jumpers and you can select the settings between them. The first one is for uh, choosing in case if you want to use the inbuilt pit mode or not. And then the other part is used to select the voltage. In case if you want to use the 5 volt or 10 volt, you can simply select it. Now let's take a look at this section over here. Now this section is reserved for DJI A unit and Cadex Vista. So you have this plug over here in which you can plug in your cable. And in case if you want to directly solder uh, your Cadex or DJI wires, you can simply do that using the parts which have been supplied over here. And this part is here responsible for the buzzer. So in case you want to use a buzzer, you can use it uh, that as well. And over here we have a GPS part. Now it is having SDA, SDL and all kinds of various parts for your GPS. And then all the remaining parts have been kept over here. So in case you want to use a redundancy RX or any other kind of fancy stuff, you can simply connect it over here. And if I'm going to flip the FC over, we can see we have some more things over here to discover. Now it is having a dual BEC and you can see the amount of filtrations which they have supplied. There are a lot of capacitors. So this shows that they know what they are doing and more capacitor you have, the better will be the output voltage. This is the gyro over here. Now this is the BMI 270 gyro. Along with that, we have a TVS type protection. So this will protect your flight controller from any voltage spike or any reverse polarity up to some extent. And then if you're gonna see over here, we can see we have four LED parts. Now these four LED parts can be configured if you want to run uh, LEDs on your belt. Now this is a very clean way of running any LEDs. Now if you're gonna look over here, we have a Wi-Fi chip. Now this Wi-Fi chip will enable this flight controller in order to connect with this PDB app. Now this PDB app can be used to configure your flight controller wirelessly using the Wi-Fi option. So in case we want to use that functionality, you can download this PDB app from the Play Store and simply connect this flight controller with this PDB app. Now that's it for today. I hope you guys like this in case this video was really helpful for you. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps me a lot. Thank you guys.